I started chemo about four weeks after my surgery. Mum and Sam came and see the oncologist with me. Um, it was really special to have uh, Mum and Samantha, the two most important female friends in my life, with me at the time. Annie had suggested that I should take someone with me each time I had an appointment because, you know, not only just for support, but um, to have someone as extra ears to listen to all the things that I'm just not getting at the moment. My chemo doctor, Gillian, she was amazing. She was really young and vibrant and, and really sensitive to my needs. And she really included mum and Samantha and just sort of told them everything too. And that really helped with my anxiety. I must admit, I don't remember much information that's been given to me. I sound like a real bimbo, don't I? But I don't know, once you hear that word, you've got cancer, you just don't hear anything anymore. I was worried about overstaying my welcome with my friends in Brisbane. You know, it's just so much to think about. You know, just so much more than the fact that you've got cancer. I just went off into another world at that point, worrying about finances, stress, accommodation, work. It was just too much. And then the possibility of losing all my hair. Oh, it was just so stressful. And here it all goes again. You know, I've been through this already, you know. I just, it's too much.